Good day, Nathan. Good day, Natalie. Good day, Andrew. We're looking at this painting right here, and it was by Jean-Baptiste Camille Corot. It's called Belfry at Douai, and the Belfry is where they had the tower where the bells and everything were in a church. And so we're seeing down the street here, we're seeing a church and a belfry in a city, probably Paris, because he was a French painter. So what we're studying today here is we're studying cityscapes, okay? And so what you see here in this picture is a city. And so it is a type of cityscape, all right? We have all of the buildings over here and we have buildings over here. And like I said, we have the church back there. So what you're looking at in a cityscape is architecture because architecture is all the word they use for what a building looks like. People are architects when they decide that they wanted to look at a building or make a building and make it look this way or make it look that way. You have older architecture, modern architecture. And as we do our project today, you might want to do a silhouette and then you might not. And so you can look at the one that I've done with a silhouette and you can do the one, look at it and say, oh, do I want to do it or don't I? A silhouette is something that gives you the shape of an object like this wagon or this horse and then it's all black, okay? There is no color, there's no distinction outside of just the shape. That's why they call it a silhouette. So those are the vocabulary words that we're learning for today. And we are applying right here to the cityscape. This, um, some of these things, we want to remember some of the different things that we have learned before, like the foreground and the midground and the background. That's a pretty big uh, thing that we've learned just recently. And so we're gonna go right into our project because it might take some time. This is the project that I did with the silhouette, okay? So you can see in this particular picture, I have the foreground, and that is just buildings that don't have anything but the shape. You don't see windows, you don't see anything like that. You can, and we may do this in our class, just take some little bitty pieces of paper and just put some windows in it and glue that down. I think we might just do that, but it's not done on this picture. Now, that's the foreground. In the midground, we have another group of buildings, and they're in various different colors. And in the background, we have a sky. The sky is sort of a starry night type of a sky, and with the movements going on back there, and movements is one of the, um, principles of art. Here we have the different colors and we have red, we have green, there's no yellow but there's yellow in the sky and so there you have your primary colors, orange and green and violet, you have your secondary colors. So this is the project that we're going to do but we're going to do it a little bit different here. Let me first show you the process that we're going to do. First, you're gonna draw rectangles starting from the bottom of the page. Okay, so if you're going to be doing the silhouette and then you're going to also do the buildings, you're gonna to wanna to do this, the, these rectangles smaller and then add the other rectangles behind it. But you're gonna draw rectangles like this. Then you're going to add triangles or circles or other things to the top of the building to make it look a little bit more the architecture is going to look a little bit nicer okay then this uh person that we're going we're sort of uh doing our work following he has done different faces on his work all right and so we're going to do faces and then because they're buildings we're going to be adding windows and doors okay so that is some of the the process of how we're doing it now I'm gonna go over this real slowly because there we have different eyes and different faces and different 
noses and different mouths and different ideas that you can do. And I want to give special thanks to Cassie Stevens for this idea that we're going to be using here today. So now as I put my phone down and begin working on this, I already started, okay? So let's adjust it just a little bit so that you can see and I can see and the phone's not going to go all wacky on us. All right. So there we have it. So here we have, I started on this side, and I have um, some of my buildings already done. All of the rectangles are done, and I've started some of the faces. Now I'm going to do a few other faces here. Let me just do a, another circle for the eyes, and we'll make those circles um, have circles inside of them. All right, I'm gonna try and get you to see this. And then we're going to just color in some of it, but leave a little bit of white spot so we have a direction that it's gonna be going. Maybe we'll do a little bit like that so it looks like glasses going in two different directions like that. The nose, maybe just do a little bitty nose of that kind. And we're going to just do a smiley face. This black marker that I picked up has a whole, it's really, really thick compared to the other ones that I've done. So we have to be careful with that. So now we're going to do two others. All right, so this is a neat one. Oh my goodness, it's really watery. So that's what we're going to do. And this one has a sort of a dot there. So we'll do it the same way on both sides. Then maybe we'll try and do a... Wow, this is an amazing black marker right here. It is just smearing everywhere. So, this is interesting. It's a big, big blob. I'm glad I did some of this before we got started. All right, so since it's blobbing out, how about if I just do two dots right here for um, the eyes? And then we'll see if we can do two teeny dots for nose. Nope, it just goes boom, that nose does so let's see here. We're going to do it. Boom, boom, boom. It's like, oh, help me, help me, help me, is what they're saying with this particular. Wow. I can't believe that that marker's like that. That's what happens when you get it from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so because that's the case, I'm going to go to a different marker. It's not as thick as the other ones but it should be okay. So now let's get some doors and let's get some windows on here. So the doors are gonna to have to come down, come down all the way to the bottom. All right, and we need to have a doorknob in that door. Let's do a windows here as well. A little, make sh making sure that all of the spaces are covered up, okay? that we can, so there's not big, big old wide spaces. We don't like to have big old wide spaces. Now see, I'm not exactly going all the way to the edges on those, and some of them I'm going over, and it'll be okay. You just want to have your windows look like windows. All right, now how are we gonna have a door on this one? The door on this one, maybe we'll just do a double door on this one, shall we? You say, sure, why not? Okay. All right, so now here's another one. Let's do, maybe this is a sliding glass door. Sliding glass door is not going to have a door, door knob with it. And maybe it's going to have a bank of windows underneath right there a little bitty thin window on either side all right so that's how we're going through is we're with our windows and our doors and we're going to do that for each and every one that we're we have going on here okay we can see that some of them are going to take bigger windows and some of them are littler windows and all of that so we're going to just take a break from that and we'll fill it, finish it all up if we can in a little bit, but we want to show you how to do the sky. You want to take some oil pastels because oil pastels, they're not going to 
um, if you put water on it, it won't smudge. So with your oil pastel, just do some stars in the sky, okay? We don't want too many, but we want a few. Now what you're going to need to do is get some markers, all right? Your regular Crayolas will work good. These are Ikea markers and they do not bleed as well as your regular Crayola or something does. But here at home, I don't have the Crayola markers and so all I have is these. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your blue markers, you're gonna go around some of your, so you know where it is that you did them. And then you just make some wavy lines all the way around a little line here, a little line there. And we're filling it in and we're trying to make it look like the starry night. So go and look at a picture of the starry night. I don't have one right handy. I should probably have found one, but I don't have one right handy. So go ask your mom to find you a picture of the starry night and see how it just goes and back and forth all over and gives movement to the sky. So we're gonna do it in two different colors. Do it in blue first and then finish the rest of it in with green. All right, 